months behind bars. That was the sentence handed down today to 42-year-old Mark D'Amico for his role in the notorious GoFundMe scandal back in 2017. Action News reporter Chad Perdelli is live outside federal court in Camden. Chad, you just got reaction from D'Amico himself. That's right, Jim. The judge handed down a sentence of 27 months in federal prison on the top end of sentencing guidelines and also ordered D'Amico to pay restitution and a $20,000 fine. Respect the decision. I'm happy it's over with. Be moving on. Mark D'Amico now knows his fate. In the coming weeks, he'll report to federal prison to serve his time in what's been dubbed the GoFundMe scandal. In 2017, he, then girlfriend Kate McClure, and homeless heroin addict Johnny Bobbitt concocted a story whereby Bobbitt gave up his last 20 bucks to help McClure, who'd run out of gas on I-95. But the gas story was a lie. And in handing down his sentence, the judge said the punishment had to be a deterrent for others who may deceive to garner donations on crowdfunding sites. It seemed like he believed that you were, were the ringleader here. I have a lot to say about that, but the, to, on the street isn't the time. The 42-year-old claims McClure is the one who came up with the gas story to pull on the heartstrings of 14,000 donors who gave more than $400,000. Much of the money was not spent on Bobbitt, but rather lavish trips, spending sprees, and on D'Amico's gambling addiction. Asked why he didn't cooperate with federal prosecutors to receive a lighter sentence, D'Amico said this. You can't be a rat. <laughs> I mean, you know, what are you going to do? I would never do that to somebody. I would never lie. I, I don't care if it was my worst enemy. I would never. D'Amico is now a father. He says he pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit wire fraud for her. He's hopeful he can now move on and be a better version of himself. Still, he maintains the fundraiser was intended to help Bob it. Listen, I'm not here saying that I didn't do anything wrong. I definitely did. Um, it's just the... Uh, the twists and the turns of the story aren't exactly 100% correct. That's right. There are many twists and turns to this story, and we have it all in our one-hour documentary, No Good Deed, a crowdfunding holiday heist. You can see it all on Hulu or our six ABC streaming apps. I'm live in Camden, Chad Fredelli, Channel 6 Action News. Jim?